Hi there. I am representing WebTrackOfficial.com. We provide all sorts of digital marketing solutions like web designing, social media integration, search engine optimization, graphic designing and logo designing. So if you want any services from us, contact us at support at WebTrackOfficial.com. In this video I am going to show you, how you can add social login to your website like this. Social login allows your users to log in and register with one click on your website or mobile application using their existing accounts. We are going to be using a free plugin for that. So let's get right into it. From your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and click add new. Now search for super socializer. This is the plugin. Click install. And now click activate. Plugin is now active on our site. Just scroll down. Hover on social login menu and click social login. First of all, you need to enable this social login feature. Once you do that, whole a lot of options will be available to you now. First of all, I want to add Google login, so to add it, click Google checkbox. Now scroll down, and here you need to add Google Client ID, and Google Client Secret. So to get these keys, go to the Google Developers Console website. Once you sign in, this dashboard will be available for you. Simply just click on Create Project. Now, enter the name of your project. Now just click on Create. From the left sidebar menu, click on Consent Screen. Select the user type as external and click Create. Now here, we just need to fill out details related to our app. App in the sense of Consent Screen which will be displayed to your user when they click on sign in with Google button. Once you're done, scroll down and fill these details regarding to your domain. Now scroll down again and add your domain name here. Add email address if you want. And just simply click on save and continue. Scroll down and click save and continue. Click save and continue again. Now just review your settings by just scrolling down, and click back to dashboard. Now just click on publish app. Now go to the Credentials tab. And click on Create Credentials option. Now click on Client ID option. Now fill these details too. Scroll down and add redirect URL. And click Create. Now just copy these details and paste it into your WordPress dashboard. Now just scroll down and click Save Changes. Now go to Advanced Configuration. And check these three options. Scroll down and Save Changes. Now let's see it. Here you can see Google Login has been added to the checkout page. As well as the registration and login forms, and it's working completely.
Now let's add Facebook login too. So to add it, check the Facebook box. Scroll down, and just like Google, we need app ID and app secret. So go to the Facebook developer's website. Click my apps. Now to create app, click create. Select the app type. Click next. Add your company's name here. Add your business account and click create app. Now enter the password of your Facebook account. Now click setup under Facebook login. Select web. Now add your website's URL. Click save. Now from the left sidebar, under settings, click basic. And here you will have your app ID and app secret keys. Copy and paste it into WordPress dashboard. Click save changes. And we're almost done here. Just copy this link. Go back to the Facebook console. Under Facebook login, click settings. Scroll down. And paste it under redirect URLs field. We're done now. Now let's take a look. Google and Facebook login has been added to the site successfully. If this video helped you in any way, like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you later, alligator.